So this scene is with Bruce Wayne and Amanda Waller having a having a talk. They're they're having a dinner, talking about classified stuff. Of course, Bruce Wayne's looking through Amanda Waller's um, uh, classified books and sees the Flash and Aquaman on there. And at first, I I didn't understand what that meant. I'm like, you mean to tell me she has Aquaman and the Flash in her, in her disposal or in her prison? Uh, like I didn't get it. And then now that I thought about it, maybe he, maybe, maybe she's always had a tab on them, A.K.A. Lex Luthor, and Bruce is always last to know, pretty much. But I think Bruce. It, I think this is where Bruce got the idea of the Flash and Aquaman. I know that sounds crazy, but maybe perhaps this is a past movie, like before Justice League. So maybe it was through Amanda Waller's um, studies of metahumans or whatever. That's how he or yeah, how Bruce is able to find out who's who. I just don't know how they got Aquaman to post in that picture because Aquaman does not look like someone who wants to <laughs> obey authority. I don't know. Anyways, um, I think you guys are going to like this this end credit scene. Um, oh, oh, there's a part where where Amanda Waller pretty much... Bruce Wayne tells her to shut down this task force. Amanda Waller says something smart. And then, yeah, and then Amanda Waller goes, Bruce Wayne, you really need to stop working nights. And as if she knows that he is Batman. So that that's pretty unique to me. That's a, a really, really good, um, that's a really, really good or fun sign because that means that she's going to try her best to have leverage over Bruce. But just like how, how she is in this movie, how she has everyone pretty much with a knife to their throat, she's going to try the same with Bruce. But Bruce is, un, he is a strategist. He is the best. So you never know who's going to win this. Anyways, thanks for listening.